These are the top foods that you can consume that will help save your liver's health and boost everyday liver function. Hey, Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Nick Sarowski, and your liver is vitally important to make sure that you're protecting it at all times. It is the organ that supports all other organs in your body. This means that if your liver is unhealthy, then systemically your entire body is suffering. Every organ system, every cell. So we want to make sure that we're protecting our liver's health, and what better way to do it than with the food that we're consuming every day. We're going to talk about the foods, the reason they work, and also the things that you need to avoid, including the white food. So let's go ahead and dive right in with our first food here, and this is going to be cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables are incredibly important for liver health. They're loaded with antioxidants like phytonutrients, vitamin C, vitamin E, which are all going to promote liver health decrease inflammation. But one of the things that's really interesting about cruciferous vegetable is they contain the proper nutritional support to support detoxification in the liver. And you might say, well, why do we have to support detoxification in the liver? Simply because every single day you come in contact with chemicals, cleaning chemicals, pharmaceuticals, hormones that are in the water, in every other type of chemical you can imagine, the chemicals on your clothing. So when these all go in your body, your liver has to deal with them. And these chemicals can be very difficult for the liver to break down without the proper support. As these chemicals back up in the body, if we're not supporting liver health to support phase one and phase two of detoxification, then our body is going to suffer. So these are some of my favorite cruciferous vegetables right over here. And I want to say, if you're struggling to eat some of these because maybe they're a little bit harsh on the gut, just make sure that you steam them or even bake them, cook them in some way in order to make them a little bit easier for your stomach to break down. So next food on our list is going to be eggs. Why would eggs be important for your liver health? Simply because they have something called choline in them. And what the choline has shown to do in the research is actually help pull fat accumulation from the liver. So if you're somebody who's overweight or you've had some you know, pre-diabetes, a little bit of insulin resistance, and most people have had this happen to them at some point in their life. If it's not now, maybe it's in the past or maybe it's in the future. But what we have to do is we can use choline from eggs and use it to pull the fat accumulation that comes as a result of some of these health conditions, pull that fat accumulation from the liver and you're healthier for it. Now let's talk about the next food and that is going to be sardines. You probably don't like the idea of eating sardines because, well, a lot of people think they're disgusting. And the truth is, is that sardines have a ton of health benefits, but the major one for the liver is that it's rich in omega-3s. And what studies have shown is that when people eat fatty fish like sardines that are rich in omega-3s, it helps lower inflammation in the liver. The liver becomes healthier. It also helps regulate the liver enzymes. And you're thinking, and what do liver enzymes have to do with this? It has everything to do with it. In fact, whenever you get a blood test, one of the things that your doctor probably does is checks your liver enzymes. And the reason for this is because if there's liver enzyme imbalances, it can be the result of a disease occurring within your liver. It could be something like inflammation. It could be something like fatty liver disease. Who knows? But I will tell you that regulating liver enzymes means healthier liver and omega-3s help lower the inflammation and do that. So if you don't like sardines, use omega-3 supplementation. Let's dive into our next food, and this is walnuts. The thing is, is that many different nuts have proven to be beneficial to liver health, but there's one that really stands out, and that's walnuts. Once again, it's rich in omega-3, it helps with inflammation, and it helps balance liver enzymes. Once again, the studies have proven that walnuts are really beneficial here. Before we go on to the rest of this video where we talk about what to avoid in the white food, I want to give a shout out to our video sponsor. It's brought to you by Celerity, specifically Celerity's Liver Assist. What Liver Assist is, is an accumulation of the best nutrients and herbs all put in one bottle so that it can have an awesome synergistic approach in improving your liver health. Backed by third-party testing to make sure that you're getting the highest quality ingredients all to support your liver health. Liver Assist has proven time and time again to help you lower inflammation in your liver, support detoxification, and improve overall liver health. If your liver health is suffering, as we said, your whole body health is suffering, and this is why I recommend Liver Assist to the patients that I work with. So if you want to try Liver Assist and get 10% off, you can click on the link in the description below to save 10% on your very own bottle of liver assist and improve your liver's health today. Click on the link in the description below. 
Now, the next food on our list is going to be garlic. We know that garlic has so many dang benefits for the body. It's amazing that all of us aren't eating it daily, and I think it tastes pretty darn good. But garlic has been shown to really support the detoxification process, lower inflammation, and liver enzyme balance. So as you've seen, all of these foods right here play a critical role in some sort of function within the liver. And now we have to make sure we're eating these but avoiding this stuff. What is it? Alcohol. These are the worst things for your liver. The other thing is high fructose corn syrup. It's processed differently in the body and it likes to help accumulate fat in the liver, which we don't want, right? That's something we don't want. We don't want fatty liver. It leads to chronic liver disease. Fried fats, pretty much any fats in restaurants is fried anymore. We want to make sure that we're avoiding all of those fried foods. And then white foods. What are white foods? Well, white foods are white sugar, white pasta, white bread, white bagels, anything with all that white flour. We have to make sure that we're avoiding the white foods because they're very unhealthy for not only our entire body, but especially our liver's health. I'm Dr. Zorowski, and if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really like this video next.